Hi, I'm Kantaria, and for the past year, I've been working on a lot of speedrunning mods. And one of these mods is SeedQ. CQ is a mod that generates multiple worlds at the same time. This is much more efficient than using multiple instances of Minecraft and comes with significant performance improvements. In beta testing, test has got resetting speeds improvements of 75% to 150%. It also uses way less RAM because you only need one instance of Minecraft open. Additionally, input delay is much uh, lower because the resetting is handled directly by Minecraft instead of an application like Jolty. Before we get into the setup, I've also been working on a bunch of other mods and one new mod that CQ requires to work. That new mod is Speedrun API. Uh, it makes developing mods much easier and it also adds in-game configuration menus. You can reach those by clicking Options, click on the Book and Quill labeled Mod Configs. And now you have a list of mods that can be configured in-game. In this video, I'm going to talk about three more mod updates. The first one being Atom. I've updated the configuration menu, so it now has all the options the Create New World screen has to offer. Um, the next one is World Preview. I've updated the preview to now be pretty much one-to-one -one identical to what vanilla, uh, what vanilla would render. You can see entities here and the player model. Um, yeah. The third mod is Standard Settings. It now has, a in, has an in-game configuration menu where you can find all the options you want to configure. Um, obviously, this is a lot of options, so if you want to find a specific one, just press Ctrl F and you can search through the options. For example, if I want to configure Biome Blend, I can just type in Biome and I've got the option here. Um, I can now configure it to whatever I want. If I don't want this setting to be reset, uh, I can press it to off. And now it's not going to reset this when I reset a world. If You can also now disable standard settings completely by toggling standard settings off. Um, which is useful for people who want to not bother configuring this mod. All right, let's get to the setup. First things first, I'm going to assume you've set up MultiMC for speedrunning before. If you haven't, please watch Kafer's video. I'm going to link it in the description. First, uh, you're going to want to update all your mods. There's a lot of updates, so make sure all your mods are on the newest version. Next, head to Edit Instance, Fabric Loader, and update your Fabric Loader to 0 0.16 or above. After that, go to Settings, Memory, and increase your mem maximum memory allocation. CQ needs way less RAM than traditional wall, but you're still going to need more than your average Minecraft instance. Per queued seed, uh, seed you're going to want to increase your memory by 250 megabytes. So if you want to queue 8, seed, eight seeds, increase it to, uh, by 2000, so 4000 total. This extra memory is going to put a strain on the Java garbage collector, so you're probably going to want to use ZGC. You can do that by pasting this Java argument into your Java arguments tab. Next, let's go to the CQ options. This is just going to be a quick setup guide, so I'm going to skip the settings that aren't essential. And if you want to know what they do, I'm going to mention where to find the wiki in the next video segment. So the first and most important settings are the Q settings. Uh, max queued seeds is the max amount of seeds you have in your queue, pretty self-explanatory. This is also the setting you want to consider when setting your RAM for the instance. I'm going to set this to 8. Uh, max generating seeds is how many of these seeds can be generating at the same time. So if you set this for uh, to 2, for example, it's going to generate two seeds, um, put them in the queue, then generate another two seed, uh, seeds, put them in the queue, and, and so forth and so forth until it hits 8. Uh, max generating seeds on wall is just the same as max generating seeds, but on the wall screen. So I'm going to set this much higher. Uh, you probably want to set this pretty low because it's going to greatly improve your performance while playing a seed. For chunk map settings, you probably just want to hide this setting. Um, it's just going to render chunk maps at the top left corner of your screen. Uh, yeah, they're nice to have for debugging, but you probably won't need them. 
to use the wall screen, turn wall, use the wall screen on. Uh, it's off by default. I just changed it here already. Um, you can change simulated window size to get a stretched view, such as FOV. So just reduce the height to something low. Um, yeah, next, let's uh, get to the key bindings menu. There's a lot of key binds, play instance, focus reset. You probably know all these. Um, they have explanations in the wiki as well, if you don't know any of these. But the way you configure them is just with this button. So if you want to the play instance to be E, just press this button, go E. Um, if you want it to be Shift E, you can also configure Shift as a secondary key. And if you don't want this to apply, if you also hold down F, you can hold down uh, F for blocking key. But yeah, most of the time, you're just going to want to use this main key and you can ignore secondary and blocking. Um, yeah, so let's head to the performance settings. Um, background previews is a setting that makes it so uh, previews that aren't yet re being rendered on the wall screen, but are already in the queue start being like prepared before you can see them. Um, this is useful for when you have like a huge queue size or if you have, if your uh, rows X columns is lower than your max gender, you can see it's on wall. So for example, I'd set this to two because then my rows times columns, which is six plus background previews, which is two, uh, will add up to eight. So my max generating seats on wall. Um, freeze lock previews is a setting that, yeah, does what it says. It won't render any new chunks uh, once you lock a preview. This improves performance, uh, but obviously if you want to see those extra chunks, you should keep this disabled. It's disabled by default. Smooth chunk building. If you have lag on the wall screen, you can consider turning this on. Um, it's just going to Build, uh, it's going to render less new chunks per frame, but obviously that's going to make your frame rate better. You're also going to want to configure some other mod settings. First, go to world preview and lower your chunk distance to something like 6. Uh, next, head to standard settings. Uh, look for F3 pause on world load and enable it. Also, a quick note, your standard settings are not going to transfer over. You have to reconfigure your standard settings with this update. To start a resetting, press the atom golden boots. You should uh, wait for your first world to generate to get rid of first world to lag. Once you join the world, if you keep your CQ chunk maps enabled, you'll see worlds generating in the top left. Um, to get to the world screen, just reset, and it's going to put you right uh, there. You can lock instances, reset all, all the good stuff, and you can also leave the world screen from here using shift plus escape. If you're using Jolty, you can continue to do so by updating to version 1.5 and enabling utility mode. This will disable Jolty's multi-instancing while keeping stuff like scripts for eye measuring. Okay, so the next point, as mentioned before, is going to be the wiki. Uh, as of the recording of this video, the wiki is not actually up yet, but you're going to be able to find it under github.com slash kingontario slash cq, and then it's going to be right next to projects here, and you can just click on it. Um, for now, I'm just going to show you it in a different tab. So it's going to have uh, a detailed view on the config, where you can find out everything you want to know about all the different config uh, configuration options. And also, it explains how to customize your wall screen using resource packs. Um, you can do a lot of stuff from changing the layout uh, to changing some textures like the background or changing uh, sounds on the wall screen. I know these are a lot of changes, uh, so if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to join the Discord. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Also, I've been working on these mods for almost uh, a year now. Um, if you want to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page, which you can also find in the description.